Our story begins in the quaint, picturesque town of Hamelin, nestled in the rolling hills of Germany. Imagine, if you will, the 13th century's cobblestone streets, half-timbered houses, and a towering church overlooking the river Weiser. Life in Hamelin was as tranquil as a lullaby, but little did its inhabitants know. This lullaby was soon to turn into a haunting melody. You've likely heard the tale of the Pied Piper, a story often considered a mere folk tale or legend. But what if there were more to this tale? A deeper, darker history that transcends the border of myth and reality. Let's delve into the disturbing true story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. The story is widely known. A charismatic stranger adorned in a coat of many colors comes to town, promising to rid the town of a rat infestation. For this service, the town's mayor promises him a handsome reward. With a tune from his magical flute, he lures the rats into the Visor River, where they meet their watery grave. But the story takes a dark turn when the mayor, seeing that the rats are gone, refuses to pay the Pied Piper his due. In revenge, the Pied Piper takes up his flute once again, not to lure rats, but the children of Hamelin. Captivated by the hypnotic melody, 130 children follow the Piper out of town and are never seen again. It's a chilling tale, but one that most dismiss as a cautionary fable, warning against the perils of breaking a promise. However, the records of the town in Hamelin tell a different story. In the town's chronicles, dated 1384, a cryptic entry reads, It is 100 years since our children left. This simple yet eerie note suggests that there may be more truth to this tale than we might think. The question then arises, what could have happened? If this was more than just a story, what could be the true explanation behind the disappearance of Hamelin's children? A theory proposes that the children did not vanish, but were led away to start new lives elsewhere. During the 13th century, many regions of Germany were undergoing a population explosion. Colonization of the East was rampant, and it's possible that Hamelin's children were taken, or even sold, to repopulate these new settlements. Another theory suggests a more sinister scenario, hinting at the mass mortality caused by diseases like the Black Death. The Piper, in this context, is a symbolic representation of death, luring the children away with his enchanting melody, much like the fatal allure of the disease. A third theory posits the Pied Piper as a charismatic religious figure, a cult leader who managed to enthrall and lead away the town's youth. The Children's Crusade of 1212, where thousands of young people took part in an ill-fated crusade to the Holy Land, provides a historical backdrop to this theory. It's conceivable that the Children of Hamelin fell prey to a similar scenario. There's also a theory that the Piper was a recruiter for the Teutonic Knights, an influential military order. The Knights had been granted lands in Eastern Europe and might have employed such recruiters to entice young people to settle in those areas. The vibrant attire of the Pied Piper fits this interpretation, as recruiters often wore colorful clothes to attract potential settlers. In reality, we may never know what truly happened to the children of Hamelin. The story of the Pied Piper, whether based in truth, embellished over generations, or entirely fictional, continues to capture our imagination with its blend of charm and chilling unease. What we do know is that the tale has left a significant imprint on the town of Hamelin. Even today, you'll find no music played in the Bungalossenstrasse, the street without drums, symbolizing the street through which the children were led away. The tale of the Pied Piper serves as a lasting reminder of the strange and unexpected turns history can take. It warns us about the dangers of broken promises and the power of charisma. Whether the Piper was a metaphorical figure or a literal person, the essence of the tale continues to echo through the centuries, reminding us of the 130 children who left and never returned. This story, as grim as it may be, has inspired numerous adaptations and interpretations in literature, art, and music over the centuries. Robert Browning's famous poem, The Pied Piper of Hamelin, is perhaps one of the most known renditions of this tale. Browning's version embellishes the story with a poetic richness and complexity, portraying the Piper as both a hero and a villain, adding more layers to the multifaceted nature of the legend. 
Even in music, the enchanting and eerie tune of the piper has found a place. Edvard Grieg, the renowned Norwegian composer, included a movement titled In the Hall of the Mountain King, in his Piergint Suite. This piece, with its building tempo and intensity, is thought to musically represent the piper's hypnotic tune and the irresistible lure it held for the children of Hamelin. The tale has also served as a powerful metaphor in political discourse. It has been used as an allegory to criticize charismatic leaders who promise great things but lead their followers into disaster. The story underscores the potential dangers of blind faith and the importance of questioning authority. The story's influence also extends to psychology. The Pied Piper Effect refers to the phenomenon where one often charismatic individual can influence a group to follow their lead, irrespective of the consequences. This effect, studied in social psychology, draws direct parallels with the Pied Piper's hypnotic influence over the children. In popular culture, references to the Pied Piper appear in unexpected places. From the dystopian world of the Walking Dead to the idyllic setting of the Smurfs, the Pied Piper story is told and retold, each adaptation adding a new dimension to the timeless legend. While the tale of the Pied Piper of Hamelin may have begun as a local legend, its impact has rippled out far beyond the borders of the small German town. It stands as a testament to the universal power of stories, their ability to resonate with human experiences, fears, and curiosities. In the world of animation and film, this old folktale has found new life and interpretation. Walt Disney's 1933 Silly Symphony, The Pied Piper, tells a softened version of the story, where the piper uses his magical pipe to lure the rats out of Hamelin, and only when the townsfolk refuse to pay does he lead the children away, to a paradise of fun and games, not to their doom. More modern interpretations also exist, like the character of Peter Piper in the Fables comic book series. This version of the Piper is a rat catcher for hire, able to charm any creature, and even people, with his magic flute. And in a dystopian twist, Terry Pratchett's The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents presents a cunning, talking cat who sets up a Pied Piper scam in various towns, only to stumble upon a sinister, supernatural rat piper who is much more than he seems. The Pied Piper's theme, woven through these varied adaptations, remains consistent. The power of enchantment, the danger of broken promises, and the eerie magic of music. Whether a symbol of loss, punishment, or an irresistible force, the figure of the Piper looms large in our collective consciousness. But let's step away from fiction and return to Hamelin, the town itself. Today, Hamelin, located in Lower Saxony, Germany, fully embraces its infamy as the setting of the Pied Piper story. Tourists visiting Hamelin will find references to the Pied Piper scattered throughout the town. From a colorful mural depicting the story on the side of a building, to the Pied Piper's house, a stunning 16th century structure which features an inscription about the legend. Every Sunday during summer, the town puts on an open air play in the old town center, retelling the story of the Pied Piper. The actors dress in medieval costumes, the piper plays his haunting melody, and the children, playing the role of the lost ones, follow him out of the town square. It's a chilling reminder of the fable that has forever marked this town. To add to the mystery, the town's clock tower houses a mechanical clock that chimes every hour. When it strikes the hour, a door opens, and the pied piper emerges, followed by a procession of children, just like in the tale. What's more, the town even has a term they use, Pied Piper Street, which refers to a small, nondescript street from where, according to the story, the piper and children exited Hamelin. Interestingly, there's an age-old ordinance that prohibits music or dancing on this street, a rule that remains in effect to this day. Remember, the truth may be shrouded in mystery, and while we may never know what really happened to the children of Hamelin, the tale's moral and cultural lessons continue to reverberate. We hope you carry these insights with you as we part ways with a piper and his haunting melody. As we draw this exploration to a close, we're left with more questions than answers. The mystery of the Pied Piper of Hamelin remains an enigma, 
a testament to the enduring power of stories and the blurred lines between history and folklore. From the serene, yet haunted streets of Hamelin, we take with us a tale that continues to intrigue, perplex, and even frighten. A tale that compels us to delve deeper into the past, to search for truths hidden within layers of myth and time. And so, as we depart from the story of the Pied Piper, we are reminded that sometimes, the true story might be stranger and more disturbing than the legend itself. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. In the end, what can we take from this legend? Is it a historical account, a moral parable, or just a chilling ghost story? The Pied Piper's tale may forever remain cloaked in mystery, but what it symbolizes, greed, consequence, loss, and the hypnotic power of influence still resonates deeply. It's a chilling tune that continues to reverberate through the ages, reminding us of the power of myth and story in shaping our understanding of the world. So let's keep exploring these tales, keep uncovering the secrets hidden in their depths. After all, who knows what we'll discover next. Until next time, keep asking questions, keep seeking answers, and remember, history is as much about the mysteries as it is about the truths.